With the second pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Chet Holmgren from Gonzaga University. What's good, family? Welcome to a Minor Hoops podcast. We're here live summer series. It's not live, we're recorded. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, show us love, subscribe. We are talking about Chet Holmgren, the second overall pick going to OKC Thunder. We're going to see how good he is this year. But we're talking essentially about him, how we feel about his place in the draft, his comps, all that in the third. So once again, guys, how we feel? How we feel about this pick? I like Chet at number two only because I felt like it was the safest place for Chet to go. Um, given the time needed to really develop into what he can be as an NBA player. Yeah. Um, I honestly wasn't really phased by any of the concerns about body type or anything like that. I mean, y'all hear me say it all the time, like, and I've I've been a skinny guy who had to get stuff done on in, in sports. So mm-hmm. if you've been able to do it your whole life, like you've been able to do it in college. Mm-hmm. I think you're going to be able to do it some level on the NBA. Um, I mean, of course, you're going to definitely have to get stronger, but it's not that big of a concern that we always have to have a think piece around it. Um, but I, I, I am uh, really wondering exactly how he's going to pan out as a player. I know mm-hmm. like the comparisons a lot that I hear are like uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis, somebody who can you know defend the rim. Um, push the ball on, on the breaks too. He has, you know, control of the ball, fluid, uh, decent vision as well. So mm-hmm. he's really active with his hands. I, I like him as a basketball player, period. I, I thought he was Lotto for, right. for years. So I'm not mad at, at the pick going number two. I'm just really glad it was OKC who got that pick at number two because I felt like some places where, like, Houston wouldn't have had maybe that extra year to, right. to possibly wait on him. And I'm not saying he's a – the, the biggest project of the draft, but in the top half of the lottery is definitely kind of one of the biggest concerns, him and Shaden Sharp, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, I like Chet. I think he's going to be a fine NBA player, um, possibly can develop into an all-star type player. Uh, but the the comparisons to, to guys like Giannis was where it was a little weird. But, no, Chet's straight. I think I was, I mean, I was talking with T and I tell Manny a lot. We go back and forth about Chet. I'm not as high on him as Paolo and Jabari. And yes, I do think like my, I guess my biggest thing against him is we talk about him a lot on what he's going to bring to the game defensively, defensively. But when we still look at him, like, like I said, his body, extremely mm-hmm. frail in a league where the bigs are getting, are going back to being more physical, more skill, right? Like, Boston has Robert Williams, Al Horford. Like, Miami has Bam. Um, Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Like, Joel, what you call it? Dallas. Joel Embiid. Yeah, Joel Embiid. Jokic. Dallas just got Christian Wood. Like, DeAndre yeah. Aiden's still here. So, it's just yeah. like, we're getting away from... If this was a, maybe a few years earlier, potentially, when, like, everybody was trying to copy the Warriors, but they were getting away from the fact of, no, if you have a skilled big, that can beat the Warriors. But I think because we're starting to get back to skilled bigs with size and mobility i think that could be an issue and then i also just think like in terms of in space i think yes like with the way the league plays drop coverage so much and pick and rolls i do think guards person are going to feast against him like i don't think it's just going to be these guards are not the guards in the west coast conference like they're going to be that way they're going to be way more crafty in terms true. of being able to attack him in space like even at average run of the mill point guard mind you two years ago six man of the year but a guy like Dennis Schroeder attacking him downhill but like I, I will like to bring up because we did have somewhat of this conversation last night um mm-hmm. with G and Manny as well and one of them had made a, a great comment of uh, retort to that is defensive players of the year get you know ate up and drop coverage all the time in the NBA like we say Rudy's food but like then, we constantly yeah. say that we've seen Draymond get eat a, a and drop coverage by average looking guards at times so mm-hmm. For me well, to expect anybody to come over there and uh, any big to have to switch onto a guard, it's always going to be a tough ask, especially these NBA guards. So yeah. I didn't want to take that one. But I think if we look actually a little bit deeper into it, I think there Jerry are Jerry Jackson more, can move. Like, Evan Mobley can move. The but, Raptors, like, I'll be honest, like, he's not the greatest, but I do think Zubac is like, actually, like, a decent pick and roll big. Mm-hmm. Um, he's on a bad team, but Miles Turner isn't bad. Um, 
boys from college. I'm trying to think. There's there's a few others, and there's only a select few. That's why it's at a high commodity. I guess my thing is like. If your biggest strength coming in is going to be defense, then you're going to have to be able to then you're, switch. Then you him, better yeah. be like this defender that we're talking about because now at that point, we're putting all of our chips in. Are you going to be a knockdown three point shooter? And I'll be honest, I do think he could shoot the three ball well. Okay. Like, so I, I guess I, sometimes I joke with Manny because I do think like he was saying that he just feels like Chet is going to just for sure be better than Paolo. I'm like, ah, uh. uh, no, I don't. I, I don't I I'm not ready to roll that. with that. It's not, yeah. it's not that cut. It's not yeah. that clear cut. Yeah. But I, all right. I'm not which, mad at the statement, Which Greg though. do y'all want? Y'all want Greg to be I want, I objective? Want the, you want Greg I want, to put his cape on? I, want, I mean, this is your team. What, what version? You're going to have to have your cape on. I'm really, I'm really, cape I'm really, I bought a Lakers shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be, never I want, thought I'd say that again. I want you to be real because this is like this player right here is kind of like this, this the poster is, child. This is Chet it? is the yeah. poster is child for, for the, the process. New, for the, yeah, for the new OKC process. All right. So so I don't want you to be objective, bro. This is your team. Because isn't this our first like true major because who y'all draft last oh Josh Giddy. 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 but Giddy's not gonna be like Chet is the but that face was pick of six this is pick two this is the pick and this is pick right. two when you could have had who everybody thought was gonna be number one so Jabari, yeah. exactly so all right I'm I'll be I'll be I'll be objective then I ain't gonna wear the cape I ain't gonna wear the cape I'll do it later Chet fits and Chet works and I think he'll be I think he'll be really good actually um he fits and he works because we're starting to understand there is a there is diversity in bigs now. Yeah, and so while yes, you do have the Joel Embiid's, you do have the Carl Anthony Towns, you do have, um, you do have the Robert Williams in terms of the lob threats and the, and the rim protectors. You have those. Well, but you Chet, also have the Jaron Jackson Juniors, yeah. and I think he might slip you into the Jaron Jackson Juniors. You have the Brook Lopez. You the have Brooke Lopez. You have those, and I think I think. Chet Holmgren can definitely fall in the same vein of Chris Porzingis and a Brook Lopez, and I think he can shoot the ball really well. Yeah, he did really shoot. He did well. shoot forty from Trey, which I so, do have to give him credit. So I am high on him, but I'm also I, my my concerns are the same as any guy when I see this kind of uh, frame. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Are, mm-hmm. are you going to be? Is your body going to be able to hold up? Can you fill out a frame a little bit? I like the fact he's comfortable with putting the ball on the floor. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that he he's comfortable with making passes and being a playmaker, a secondary w- kind of I, playmaker. I do want to see him handle it with like. A I do want to see him handle like, it with like, with, like, NBA, like, with an with NBA pressure. defender. Yeah. Like, do this on I agree. Understand. Do this, this on is not the WCC. Yeah. I am do with this you. on Pascal. Do this on Robert Williams. Do this on yeah. Scotty Barnes. I mean, it, yeah, I'm with you. Like, yeah. I'm all for it. But I, if if Evan Mobley can be that impressive his first season, yeah. I have to have a little bit of hope and check. I'll say this though. And Evan is more skilled. And and you're the second person. Evan is more skilled. I agree. He's within the last like 16 hours. Yeah, you're the second person within the last 16 hours to be like, I feel like he can have an Evan Mobley impact. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to understand, like, for one, if y'all haven't realized now, Evan Mobley is going to be one of those ones. No, I've already said this. I've said it a bunch of times. I said Evan Mobley's next Kevin Garnett. Yeah, I'm I'm super high on Evan Mobley. Yeah, he's but and going back to your point of we're talking, Chet's not going to be Evan. Mo- like Chet will never be better than Evan, Evan Mobley, and I think that's here's the here he he will never be, he'll probably never be better than Evan Mobley. I'm, I, I don't know. I, if, I, don't I know, just said I don't know if he'll Kev, be Evan as Mobley good. Next Garnett, but I can say I'm looking at his skill, his play style, and looking at his size, at pretty comparable. That first year he could look like Evan Mobley. Look. And that's my I can point. I can understand and that that's point. That's my point. I gotta say, I'll take know, Evan Mobley's career. Like if we had to pick one right now, exactly. But, Same, and but and that the, first year, I can see exactly what you mean. That so you're did, saying and that's, OKC and that's could my be, point. So OKC it, will be in the, the way we in the way some hmm? you're saying because no, 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 he was they saying were, they that were, not the impact that Evan Mobley had. He didn't have a Darius Garland and all the and Kevin Love. Oh, but he but 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 yeah, Shea. It's just him and Shea and Josh Giddy to get to the playoffs in the West. I'm not doing that. I just said play in. I didn't all the play in. That is not fair. But not they can't be the ten. I believe the Spurs were the ten this year. No, were the Spurs not the ten? Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that Chet Holmgren 
will have a winning impact on the team the way Evan Mobley did coming in. And once again, you're right. The Cavs are, the Cavs are of a better the team. The Cavs than... are nice. They had Laurie Markkinen coming off the bench. Yeah, like, yeah I'm not no, they have that. They had Kate Love coming off the bench. They had yeah, Markkinen they're... starting. Coming like, into the year, nobody thought the Cavs were going into playoffs. So this not, is factual. That's, not fair. that's fair. Nobody that's, thought that's that. That's factual. But, look but who, then we got to see it. But look who elevated. Garland elevated. Garland elevated. Garland elevated. Pa- Mobley, Mobley was, was great. Yeah, Mobley was good, but Darius Lord, Garland was the man on that Lord team. Lord was playing yeah. well. Love was playing well. And Pickerstaff Love did was a great with job Harden. coaching yeah. that mob. Yeah. So we got to give a... There's a lot of credit that has to get rolled around before we can just say, oh, Evan, Evan Mobley, Mobley took his team this. to the play in the like, first we, year. We can't no, do that. I'm not saying he was, took his so, team, but he was... He was a very he was, big contributor. He was a big factor. contributor, but he wasn't the guy. But he was not the guy. He will be the guy, but he was not the guy. I'm not saying he was the guy. I'm saying more so like... When you have a good third piece like that, because mm-hmm. he was probably like what Darius was the dude on this team. Of course, I'm about to look up who was probably second most in like impact. Would you what, say they were Teddy off Jared the Island? Was, was, and now this isn't even so much in terms of the score. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just even pull up minutes play. Evan played the second most minutes on this team. Yeah. So I'm saying that's why that's where like that's where both sides of the ball in terms of impact, just his length, even when if he's not blocking a shot, I think Evan's going to be a better defender than Chet. So by us saying like, if you're putting Chet and Evan in the same sentence, you're saying Chet this year should make OKC at least a 10 seed. Cause that's please, not that's what not, Evan Mobley did. The he Cavs them, he as a them. roster <laughs> he made him that 10 seed. He helped. <laughs> Chet can help them to the worst 10 seed and they not get it. That is such an unfair criticism of that. To say that I have to make my team that is not as identical as yours and not even in the same conference as yours get to that same position off that same first year. That's just that's like a shot in the dark that's saying, I know you're not going to do that. Because I wouldn't put money on that. <laughs> and, I, and I can't, no, I can't and, get mad at him for not being able to attempt and, that. And my point, was never, my point was never that Evan, that Chet would come in and have the impact that Evan Mobley has. You're talking about the numbers for the first year? I'm talking, I'm talking in terms of the ability to get comfortable in the situation of the league and the ability to play and show what they can okay. do. And in that regard, they both have a wiry frame. Evan Mobley's a little more filled out, and he's probably filling out right now. He's yeah, gonna he's going to come back a little pounds. bit bigger. Yeah. Wouldn't shock me at all. But in terms of coming in, skinny, lanky, very kind of perimeter-centric, but can be in the post, and once again, kind of hangs their hat on defense. Check, a little bit taller, seven feet. I think I think Mobley's what six ten. He's he moves no, he's better. Said, they're too. both they're both footers. They're both they're footers. Both, okay, okay so oh footers. seven. Okay, we've got two footers, way more skinny. But I have foot concerns and, and his health concerns with his lower extremities. And outside of that, he can shoot the ball. He can. He likes to put it on the floor. He wants to be a good passer. He likes to be a secondary kind of ball, uh, playmaker in that regard. It's all there in terms of in terms of play style. Yeah. How effective it is is the question. So when we say we have all of these bigs that are the the Embiid's and the uh, Jokic's that have this frame and they're filled out and they're big and they're burly and they're taking guys to the rim. Yeah, we also have this diversity. And so Chet can live in his league and be super effective, especially alongside a Shea Gilders Alexander and a, and a Giddy and whoever they decide to bring, bring in with that, all the other good. picks that they have. Yeah. And like you said, we didn't mention Jalen Williams and what he could be because I think he's going to be something mm-hmm. really special. And so like, the the limits are out. They're not there. No, nah, they're okay. not really there yet. But for I, me. I'm not I, ready to put that on until I see. Him I, play. I understand what you mean. The limits like, aren't there. I will bet against certain limits that, that I mean certain uh, statues that people have been placing on him. And I, I think that he and, can be and great. One but like, thing, and one thing that we mentioned in the last video, if you haven't watched it, go watch the Paolo Bancaro video. We talked about Orlando. It, the one thing that we we didn't mention in this regard that we can't say about OKC. They know they know timeline. They know how to develop. Yeah. I was just like yeah. Lou say, Dort popped up, and we were like, "Who is this?" And now we essentially, if you ask me, we're fleecing him. Oh yeah, bro. He, he's, he's my biggest thing is contract. we just talked about the Magic. And we talked about we literally brought up a list of their picks, but we're not doubting Sam for real. Like, you know what I'm I mean? Not. I'm not. He's really gonna have to show me like a miss. He has not missed, dog. He has not Who? missed. From the the Sam Rant Presti still has not missed. Right, yeah, to date, nah, he hasn't yet. Sam Presti has hasn't. not missed. Every move to he's Steven made Adams, has been James pretty Harden's. doggone solid. <laughs> the, the only one, the only potential miss so far might be the dang contract. 
Like not the like this this rookie. this yeah this, this the uh, uh, 11th the, pick yeah that guy, like Once, that. and going back to that that trade is not as bad as it looks because those two protected picks could very well not ever make it to the they're Knicks all hands. all of them are like, protected it's not it's not making it's so, not so making so it to the Knicks they don't get to the Knicks and y'all then y'all are keeping them no y'all, we don't y'all. keep them Washington keeps oh them, those teams Detroit yeah 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 keep. okay got you got you I guess I always I guess like. And in, in basketball, one of the names of the game is efficiency. I just never want to like, you never know what that one pick could be. Exactly. You never know. So, so what Thanks. I never want to get in a mindset of, especially what I don't want OKC to do is just be, away because we have so many. Oh, we'll hit on the next one because you gonna blink. Like I said, like bro, with all these picks that y'all have, I'm gonna keep saying it. At least one conference finals appearance from y'all in this in this decade is a shame if y'all don't get at least one. If y'all don't get at least one, and yeah, pull, you can pull up all the all the picks that they have. But I will say the core that y'all have to start off with right now, in terms of Shea, Giddy, Dort, Chet. I like the Jalen. I like both Jalen Williams. And then, like I said, I think that's a good that's a good core right there. That is that's a good core. Okay, right see, there. ain't looking too bad. Ain't looking too bad. So they traded. They traded this one to the Knicks. They traded this one to the Knicks. And they traded this one to the Knicks. Those are three. Mm-hmm. Those are three, and those are all protected. And I think the twenty three protected the twenty three draft. I think is so. This is only depend. So y'all might not even get some of these picks. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The one that, like they one got them from the Wizards protected. Got them from mm-hmm. the Wizards protected. Yeah. Got them from the Nuggets protected. Got them from Pistons protected. Oh my mm-hmm. bad. So yeah, all these all the all those picks are already protected. And if you're asking me. The Wizards gonna be in a tough spot come next year. Pistons gonna be promising, but they're still gonna be in a tough gonna be spot. Down. And the Nuggets, and depending on where that lands, because I don't know what they're gonna do. They're probably gonna make the play. They will make they, the playoffs. Gonna make the playoffs. I, I ain't gonna yeah. do that. They will make the playoffs. That's gonna be the pick at it. That's gonna give. be the pick. Yeah. And so that pick will probably be somewhere in the ballpark of the twenties. Yeah, I was like, that's a twenty-four pick. Hey man, there's great players that are all throughout. That's factual. That's you, true. You that's know factual. what you're doing. But like, we got our own untouched. We ain't gonna do nothing next season. Oh, you know y'all not. <laughs> and then we got the clips. Yeah, I make... think we straight. And, yeah. and 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 Sam y'all Press twenties. And Sam Press, do we trust, dog? It will be another one here. Yeah, it, it will by the be. end of the season. There will be another one there. So I'm not concerned. And I think once again, I'm I'm not. I think the picks that we made this year, all the players, including Zane. Mm. Have some level of potential that could say that's a serviceable player in a rotation. Fair, yeah, fair. Just, I'm, I'm just cool how, with the, how far the along down the line because they what I've wait. already mentioned. You know, we mentioned uh, the last episode you was here. Um, y'all can go watch that too. Um, in terms of their timeline, terms of OKC's timeline before the draft, and we talking about where Shea fits and all of that. How far along does it take to get to that that space where we can have these serviceable players? Actually being alongside, and we can make runs at you know at a postseason and all that in the third. Fact. That's it. But yeah, I think they're all going to be serviceable rotational pieces, at the least. No, I would hope so. Yeah, like I and I definitely think so. I, and I'll say this: just looking more and more at the tape, and I'll say I guess for the fact that I guess what'll make Chet, what will determine how good Chet can be is for one, how good can. The other Jalen Williams, like the the big that y'all got, mm-hmm. can he help him out down there? Because I don't know if Chet's best position is a five. Yeah, being the an anchor. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And it's just like you said, like for me, Chris Stapps is like the measuring bar for him. And what, I, but I can give him what I do think is promising for Chet is OKC is in a much more stable situation and a much more better situation for him to grow in as opposed to when Chris Stapps came to the Knicks playing for. That was when the Phil Jackson yeah. air, like Jeff Hornets. Like, so it was really, really bad around that time. This might so. be a wild take. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to say it. What if Rudy Gobert could shoot? So? That's going to be a wild response and rebuttal. What if What if Rudy Gobert could shoot? So you think that's what Chet could be? I, I think so. I could see it. I mean, I, I get what you're saying because I'll be honest. Even watching, yes, I, I was thinking about Rudy and my heat was coming out. So. No, <laughs> yeah, for I real, was like, but then I, I, I was like, um, you talking about the guy who was crying for All Stars? Yeah. yeah, I was like, I don't care if he got a no, number, bro. In terms of in terms of like mentality, I don't get that from Chet at all. Yeah, no, like, I understand. I get, you you I talk about the play. That's the what I got thrown play. off. Like, 
I guess what what I'll say that's kind of nuts. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's all that's I'm gonna say. Rudy Gobert shooting threes hmm. changes a lot for Utah. Yeah, Maybe not, Donovan Mitchell passes in the basketball. I don't know. I'm not gonna, being able to even push or start a break, and I can't say that he's going to be able to do it on the NBA level because it's just different guys out there, man. Um, but he's been able to do it on all the other levels, so we're gonna see him at least attempt to. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all let us know, man. Oh, what y'all think? Numbers. What y'all think gonna do this year? This year? Yeah. He's not gonna get Evan eleven Mobley. and eight. Yeah, yeah. I looked at Evan Mobley average like fifteen and eight. Yeah, I, I Chet, didn't think Chet he was gonna hit fifteen. I was about to say eleven and eight. He might flirt with a double double though. Okay. He might flirt with you know ten and ten, eleven and ten. I'll be nice. I'll yeah. give I'll give him twelve and seven. If he don't get twelve and seven, then all my hate has been. Uh, no, if he doesn't, if he doesn't <laughs> get eight rebounds, bro, I'm kind of yeah. um, leaning towards. Because then your, that's like, then that's like Chet. Every quarter, you're not even getting. Yeah, us you're two seven boards. two. I, I, yeah, you have to at least give me eight rebounds a game. Yeah. That's why I said eleven to eight is my minimum. I think my high point in him is averaging a double double his Ricky season. Um, I think fourteen to seven. I, I, I ain't mad at fourteen to seven. I'll have faith in Chet. Nah, he need to give me eight. I'm mad at it. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he gotta give me eight, bro. He should get eight. He gotta give me eight. And I'm gonna still have faith in Chet because I do still think even Chris Stapps. I thought Dallas was gonna be the perfect spot for him. Or, yeah. I don't think Rick Carlisle just in the space they were in, like it was meant for him. So I'm yeah. gonna give I'm gonna give Chet some. I'm gonna give Chet some hope. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down. Some hate. Like, hey, I don't think he'll be. He's not gonna be as good as Evan Mobley though. He's yeah, not. he's not. No, he's not. no. But that's that what I've seen. Yeah, like I said, what I've seen from Evan Mobley already screams. That Evan Mobley is. That is. Yeah, Evan Mobley. Yeah, Evan Mobley is chasing Anthony Davis at this point. Hey man, Anthony Davis. And I'm sit calling out a couple it right more now. Games and he put on a couple more street clothes. Yeah. He might be there. Sheesh. <laughs> give him two years. <laughs> Nah, Evan's good, man. Evan's really good. All right, y'all, man. Y'all let us know in the comments what y'all think about Chet Holmgren, man. Let us know if y'all think he's going to have a big season, how he fits with OKC, all that in the third. We appreciate you. We love you. As always, easily breathe the game. Be safe. We out.